Hey, this is Cher, and um, I haven't done a video in a while, so I thought I'd do a, another unboxing video because I got an order, and I want to like just sort of open it up, get impressions of it. Um, I think I've smelled all this stuff before, and I like it, so that's why I obviously got more. But I want to explain to you why I got a few things, and... Yeah, I'm going to share with you prices um, when you buy bulk. So I buy from a bulk distributor. So um, you really save a lot of money um, when you do this. But you have to sort of be into it like I am. Um, never buy from MLM brands. I've said that a million times. I'm going to say it again, don't buy from the, you know, two MLM brands. There's actually more. There's a lot of multi-level marketing. The main ones are Deuterra and Young Living. But there's a lot of reasons um, why I don't recommend them. But one of them that is perfectly easy to understand is price. They claim they have, like, therapeutic grade oils. Well, that's a marketing term. Uh, nothing scientific came into that term. That's a marketing term, therapeutic grade. That's bullshit. Oh, excuse me. I didn't mean to say that. So I got some big things, and I know, um, I know a little bit of the big things I got. So let's see what this one is. Organic Argan Oil. So this is a base oil. And this is my favorite base oil. I use it like it's really good um, for hair to like smooth it down, control the frizzies. I also um, add it to my bath products because um, I love Epsom salt. I love the way it feels, but it's not water soluble. So you need to put some the oils in something in which they could um, dilute into the oil. This is so they don't like build up on top of the tub. And then you could, you know, get a, a little chemical burn. And it really depends. Like, I've done it before I knew. I, I used to think it was perfectly fine. Just the Epsom salt and the... Um, and the essential oils and I never had a problem but now that I know what I know I've been putting in about maybe like a quarter ounce of argan oil and 10 to 20 drops of essential oil you know gentle ones though and then you know a cup of Epsom salt or so so argan oil doesn't really have a smell so I'm not gonna open it but another thing I like about argan oil, it's really good on the face. In fact, I used some today. It's a really good hydrator without clogging your pores. Um, and like, so it's really good for like when you get dry skin, but you're prone to pimples or clogged pores. I recommend argan. You can see a noticeable difference right after you put it on. It's like, ooh, I look like, I look a lot better. So, okay, what else do I have? Little bottles. A bunch of, a couple of little bottles are in here. So, let's see what they are. Now, this is a little bottle. I think this looks like two ounces of pink grapefruit. And this is an ounce of lemon. Now, these guys are not that expensive at all. In fact, I'll, we'll look at my packing slip after. It's right here. We'll look at that after. Um, but the reason why, like, and it, it, you, you get more when you buy in bulk, but the citruses are, like, the quickest to sort of um, not be so fresh so quickly. They could last, you know, six months to a year when you keep them in a cool place. But I like to, um, you know, more have small bottles of citruses that I'm not using routinely, so I can use them all within that six month to a year period. If I don't use them in that period, I could always add them 
to cleaning products and that would be perfectly fine even if they're not the freshest. I do that a lot with sweet orange oil because it's so super cheap. I use it like primarily for cleaning even when it's fresh uh, because I ordered something else that relates to that. So let's see, maybe this is it. I don't think I ordered a giant bottle of it. Aha, yes, I ordered tenfold distilled sweet orange. Now this, I will not use in cleaning. It's still not very expensive, especially compared to those MLM sweet oranges. Um, but um, it's beautiful. Like this is great in like perfumery. It's just such a beautiful scent. Um, I've used this before. I used a lot of this actually. I used this in the Sarah Landry perfume oil and then I made myself an argan oil hair oil with that and it's just like oh so good. Um, okay so sweet orange oil. Happy. Like citruses are very like happy. They also um, can cut grease in cleaning which is why I like using the cheaper ones in cleaning. But really like very joyful, especially the, the sweet orange, and especially the tenfold sweet orange. So finally, I've got a big bottle of something, and I actually ran out of this a few months ago, and then I bought something similar, you know, for Christmas time. I bought fur needle, but I ran out of pine. No, actually, no, I didn't buy pine. But actually, I did buy a time, but it must still be in the box. Okay. I thought I bought pine. I'll have to look at my, uh, I'll have to look at my thing. Well, I have fur, but I was meaning to buy pine, but this is eucalyptus. Okay, this I use, um, also primarily in cleaning. It's just, um, I actually like the smell of it a lot. I, I, I use it primarily in cleaning, but I also use it when I'm feeling stuffy. And I like just put it in like a little tea light diffuser and I don't even have to light it to smell it. And I use it often in my bathroom like that, just a little bit and the smell comes up. It's also good to like drop in the toilet if, you know, someone made a stinky. But I use it a lot in my laundry. I like use, I, I've mentioned this a lot, but I use tea tree, um, the cheap sweet, the, the cheap sweet orange, meaning the, the pressed, and the um, eucalyptus, primarily in my laundry, and I just pour it in liberally, and it kills like, any kinds of molds or germs. It's really good if you have recurring, um, the tea tree is really good if you have recurring yeasties because um, it'll kill the yeast on your intimates and other clothing so you can't keep transferring it back and forth. Hey, did I order pie? That's weird. I guess I'll see because here's my packing slip. Maybe I... Maybe it slipped my mind. Okay, what I have is 16 ounces. And I also, you know, you have to keep in account the shipping. So, um, the shipping on the entire order was $22.81. So I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five items here. I forgot. I forgot the pine. Oh, well, I'll have to get that next time. Um, so you've got to keep into account, like, you know, maybe $5 or $6 more on the big items and maybe, you know, three or four bucks on the little ones or, I don't know, but you have to sort of keep that in count. So we'll just sort of do ballpark figures of how much the shipping would be for each thing individually. So the... Organic argan oil, Moroccan of course, 16 ounces, um, the net price was $26.29. Now I've seen two ounce bottles of this for like $12, so um, 
let's say with shipping costs, let's say this costs $32, so then eight ounces of it would cost $16, and four ounces would be eight um, dollars in bulk. Um, and that's after, you know, sort of factoring the operational costs like shipping and stuff. So eight dollars for four ounces as opposed to two, twelve dollars for two ounces. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Pink grapefruit oil, two ounces. So this was six dollars and ninety-five cents. So let's just say maybe it was nine bucks with shipping. Um, two ounces. So that would be four fifty an ounce. Just compare that to your MLM prices. Do it. Do it. I dare you. And believe me, these are quality oils. They're great. Um, lemon, the one ounce of that was only $3.66. So let's say five bucks. Five bucks is a conservative estimate. Um, the sweet orange, four ounces. And this stuff is like the highest grade, like the best of the best. You think, oh my God, it smells so good. It must be super expensive. Four whole ounces, $12.42. Let's say with shipping factored in, 16 bucks. $8 for two ounces, $4 an ounce for the best of the best. Please compare that to your MLM prices if you're buying from MLMs. Just do that little research. I'm giving you, I'm giving you insider information of what I do as someone who's been in the essential oil business as a teacher, an instructor, making customized products for over 18 years. And I'm still in business and I don't make a ton of money. No, I don't, but I don't lose any money and it pays a few bills and I have a lot of fun and I teach a lot of people and that's what's important to me. I don't want to have to like be some image that I'm not to sell something overpriced and then lie about what it can do as well. All right rant over. Eucalyptus, 16 ounces. 16 ounces. Um, price for this, $32.64. So, okay, so let's say 30, let's say $38. Let's just say $38. Um, as a ballpark after operational the cost. So $18, so that means eight ounces of it would be um, 38, 15, like 18 bucks. I might be off by a little. So that would be for um, eight ounces. So four ounces would be about nine bucks. Um, two ounces would be about four fifty, and um, yeah, you're looking at two dollars and twenty five cents after shipping costs for your eucalyptus. So compare that to your MLM prices. Now, retail prices should be more than this because you know what? This company doesn't market, doesn't give you any information. You have to know what you're buying. I know what I'm buying. I look at the Latin names. I, I do a lot of research. So I know what I'm buying. Um, retail prices are going to be a little bit more because they have more operational costs. So, um, you know, you're going to have to pay for whatever space they're renting, their employees, their warehouses. All of that jazz. Now, keep in mind, they're going to get their oils even cheaper than me because they're buying in vats. So, what I pay four dollars an ounce for, they're going to be paying like a buck twenty-five, and then they they upcharge. 
but there's more risks with retail. All I do is use these um, oils. I use them for myself. I use them in my classes to teach and um, for my students to use. And I use them to make customized gifts too. So Christmas is coming up, so that's why I wanted to stock up on some nice oils just in case people are like, yeah, I want to either buy um, a pure essential oil blend and then I can make my own gifts with that blend or, you know, I'm too busy, I want you to do all the work and I'm willing to pay you a little bit more because you're doing the work kind of thing. Um, so that's how I operate. Um, I'm very transparent. I mean, I don't sell essential oils. When you hire me for a class or to customize, you're not paying for essential oils. You're paying for my time. You're paying for my knowledge. Um, you know why? I don't want to sell essential oils. That would be kind of boring. It would be kind of boring and it would be, uh, I, I couldn't compete. I can't buy vats of oil. My stuff would go bad before I could sell it and I can't sell it. I can't market. I, I, I can't do that to my soul. I can't lie to sell. I can't jazz things up to sell because then I would have to live with a dishonest person. And you know, I am more successful than those MLM people at the top because I do things authentically. So if you are caught up in one of those mindsets of you have to do this, this, and that to be successful, I want to say you have to be happy to be successful. You have to do what you love to be successful. And you have to be the kind of person you respect to be successful. And I honestly don't know where that rant just came from. I've been watching a lot of Savvy Writes books and she talks a lot about this stuff so I think she inspired me. So thanks Savvy! Alright, great. Um, I think that's all I have to say. Peace!